How do you know if your elderly parent can still make safe financial decisions? Hi, welcome to our next video at agingparents.com. I'm a psychologist and my name is Dr. Nicole Davis. Hi, and I'm Carolyn Rosenblatt, registered nurse, attorney, and mediator. We're here to speak with you today about understanding aging, aging parents' ability to make financial decisions. This is a complicated area. It certainly is. We're only going to touch on it in this video, but we hope you will want to learn more as you discover what is involved. Okay, so we may be used to an elderly parent handling his finances without our participation at all. Maybe dad always earned the money and he paid the bills. Or maybe it was mom who did that. In any case, parents normally manage their own finances without their adult children until something goes wrong. The kinds of things that go wrong may be that your aging parent is forgetful or not able to remember to pay their bills. Uh, you know, when the electricity is cut off, you realize yeah. something has gone wrong. <laughs> or your elderly parent is, is taken advantage of by a scammer or gets their identity stolen or it, you know this creates an amazing mess and the things that go wrong can be devastating and often the burden winds up on us the the adult kids right so once you find out that your elderly parent needs help handling finances it puts a burden on you to do something that can be really hard if your parent resists lots of elderly parents who have a problem with handling money matters don't realize they're impaired or they're fearful of losing their independence and they try to hide it from others. So how do you know if your aging parent is losing the capacity for safe financial decisions? There are some ways to find this out. And this is very critical. You know, we can use testing. Psychologists do psychological testing to get a pretty good idea about things that are going on in an aging parent's brain. Um, we can't see those things with our eyes and we can't find them out sometimes by just talking to the person. They're subtle and they're sometimes hidden. So the testing allows us to find out how the person compares with other people their age and education in things like memory or abstract thinking. A lot of research has gone into this area of understanding what we call financial capacity. The research tells us that it has, a, has uh, eight different separate parts to it, and we're not going to go into all those things right now, but I can give you one example of the kind of question that, that you can ask that will try to query part of the area of domain that we're talking about. You might want to ask your parent to tell you what a mortgage is and to tell you the difference between principal and interest. And if your parent is unable to answer that basic question, I'd be worried. Yes, I'd, I would too. You know, their financial capacity may be impaired and there may be a lot more questions that someone can ask about other areas that we can go into, but for right now, that's a really good starter. If you're concerned about the financial ability of your aging parent, it's very important to get them to a doctor to have them checked. The best place to start is with a neurologist if you can, if there's one in your area. The family doctor may not do a thorough enough workup in, what, 10 minutes to know if your parent has financial capacity or not. If you are worried about your parent making financial decisions that are unsafe, you can learn a lot more on this subject than we can provide in this very short video. We do offer a webinar class in this subject and we explain the problem in much more detail. It's called Understanding Aging Parents' Financial Capacity. It's available for you when you register on our website for the presentation. You want to click below for more information about how to sign up. Your tuition for the class is payable by credit card. You will feel relieved and much more confident knowing what to do if you have this information. Sign up today. We look forward to helping you. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.